Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Thank you for tuning in. This is a fire sign reading for all fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Also cross watchers as well. Thank you all for watching. So we're going to do a reading today during this new moon in Leo. And it's on the day of the Lion's Gate portal as well, 8-8. Eight, eight. So yeah, major changes, major changes and any energy shifts is happening during this time. So let's see what we've got going on for you guys during this time. Let's jump into this reading. Uh, messages here to outline the reading. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here uh heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other and religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path lovely okay let's get the tarot tap into the energies surrounding your situation this week see what's going on behind the scenes so do remember energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. There's no gender in tarot. It's all just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. Right, so we've got a three card spread and it's giving us the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We've got the Lovers, Gemini Energy and Ace of Cups. Oh, so let's clarify, dig a bit deeper. Knight of Swords, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So let's further clarify with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the Fool in reverse, Aries Energy, and Nine of Cups. Oh, right. Hey guys. Right, so <laughs> yeah, this new moon in Leo is really working for you guys. It is bringing in a lot of passion, love, and passion. Wow. We've got the Lovers and Ace of Cups. Wow. So, yeah. During this time. Yeah, during this time, I can see here, like, the energies, this energy shift is really, like, bringing in some really passionate energies here. Wow, this is a spiritual connection. So it looks like this is a spiritual connection that you got with someone here, with that lover's energy. Yeah, this is an intense, this is a deep soulmate connection. You guys are connected spiritually on a deep spiritual level. High Priestess as well. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely a spiritual connection you have here. But you guys are, you guys have been separated or you've been, you know, through a really negative cycle where you had to have learned a lot of lessons with that death card. I feel like there's a new cycle you guys are about to begin here yeah, because it's time for a change. Time for a change. So I can see here someone is coming in to instigate that change. Knight of Swords, someone is coming in here to instigate that change, open up communication here. They are embracing this change. They are going with the flow of the energies right now. That's pushing this person forward here. Yeah. 
to bring changes to this situation with you here to bring in that love and passion this is someone coming in here and let me tell you this person is coming in i can see uh that they are um frustrated on a sexual level sexually frustrated <laughs> This is someone that is really horny for you during this time. Yeah, with that lover's energy. We've got chemistry here as well. Strong magnetic attraction here. It's strong, yeah? Yeah. This is someone that's horny for you as well. I must warn you. <laughs> There's a lot of passion here, a lot of chemistry, right? And they want you to give this relationship a chance this is someone that wants to be with you ace of cups yeah i feel like this is someone that loves you and they want to be with you in a romantic way yeah and they want to work on this partnership with you this person actually wants to be your partner you know and be with you how it's destined to be because uh this person i feel like at this point they realize that you are their soulmate this person has realized you are their soulmate yeah so i feel like it's time for you guys to come into union here yeah your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path this person realizes you are their soulmate, yeah? This is a deep spiritual connection here. And I feel like... <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be. This is destined to happen. Wheel of Fortune, this is destined to happen. So, uh, it's inevitable that this person would return back to you you guys would return back to each other some way somehow so the universe is making it happen the stars are aligning yeah this new moon in leo is bringing in a shift yeah that will just change the energy between you guys that old cycle is over you guys are transitioning into a new cycle it's a new beginning here yeah, I feel like you guys have learned from the past. Out with the old. It's a rebirth. And this time, you guys are both like in a healthy state, you know, mentally and emotionally, you know. So things can progress here between you guys in a more positive way. It's not going to be like uh, how it was in the past. I feel like the old ways and the old behaviors has died out and it's time for new it is time for new i really feel like this is someone <laughs> this is someone that's been waiting this is why they're frustrated this is someone that's been waiting and the thing is You pull back your energy. High Priestess in reverse. You know, you pull back your energy. I feel like you, you're, you're on your spiritual path and you're very intuitive. You know, you follow your intuition. And uh, you probably just went no contact with this person here. You, you know, you're very withdrawn, you know, when it comes to this uh, person here. You're very withdrawn. You've probably got no contact. And uh, this person, I feel like they were waiting for you. They were probably waiting for you. Waiting to hear from you. And uh, I feel like at this point, they can't wait anymore. They're getting frustrated. <laughs> they can't wait for you anymore. They're not waiting. So they're, kind of, they're coming in, yeah? They're coming in. I feel like... For some of you here, this is someone that um, never really did put much effort into this uh, connection with you in the past. This is how they always was, just 
hanging around, not doing anything. And you was the one that always put in the effort here. You know, so by you pulling back your energy and going no contact and not making no effort, yeah, you're basically, you know, in your high priestess way, you're telling this person, you know, if you want me, come and get me, you know, like that. It's like you're the one that was always, you know, making the effort. So, uh, obviously, it created an imbalance. I mean, there was a lack of equal give and take, I feel. This person was just taken and they were just standing, they were just there, not putting in much effort, but, you know, just reaping all the benefits, you know. And not giving anything back. So you pull back your energy, he looks like. And it's like, if you want it, come and get it, you know? Because obviously this person is, uh, you know, highly attracted to you, yeah, in a sexual way. You know, there's a lot of chemistry here. You know, they are very desired, highly sexually desirable you are sexually desirable to this person and i really feel like with the high priestess energy you know the sex with you is just mind-blowing i mean it really lights up this person's soul you guys connect on a deeper level when you actually you know are intimate it's not just physical but it's spiritual as well it's, and it it gives off that healing you know very healing, sexual healing energy. I mean, it's one of a kind. This kind of intimacy is one of a kind. And you can't have that intimacy with just anybody. It's only one person that you can have this kind of intimacy with. This person misses that. They miss it. They are horny right now. And they want that with you right now. <laughs> I feel like they were waiting. They were holding back. Because you probably was always the one that would, you know, like I said, make the effort. But now they see that you're not doing that anymore. They're going to come towards you now because they really want your body. They do. They want that kitty cat. And you're like, well, if you want this kitty cat, come and get it then. You know, you come to me. Yeah. <laughs> so here they come. <laughs> They are coming. I feel like you have woke up the beast here. You have woken up the beast. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm hearing that this person, this person is like a sex beast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, nine of cups. I mean... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, romance and passion, you know, moving forward. There's going to be a lot of sexy nights, a lot of excitement. You guys are really going to, yeah, hit it off. You guys are really going to hit it off. It's strong chemistry, strong. This person won't be able to keep their hands off you, yeah? They're sexually frustrated right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah, they're going to express how they feel. They're going to express exactly how they feel. <laughs> Emotionally, physically, mentally. Yeah, we've got some guidance here. We've got communicate clearly. Yeah, be assertive. Yeah, no doubt. I feel like this person is going to be assertive. They want you to trust them and compromise. Yeah, you guys. Peaceful resolution. This is it. It's all about healing, moving forward, moving things forward here. Definitely. This is the energies right about now during this new moon, during this Lion's Gate 8-8. So, yeah, I wish you all the best in this situation to be continued, definitely. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I will see you all real soon.